Ta-da! In today's video, I wanted to open the second of a brand new art subscription box by Artful. Um, these are a UK exclusive art box uh, kind of subscription site package dealio at the moment. Um, they are looking to expand into other areas, but um, as I am an artist based in the UK, pretty much all my targeted advertisements at the moment just feature this beautiful bare face. And I caved, okay? I absolutely had to try it. Um, I have tried a subscription service in the past. Um, I'm not going to mention who they are. Um, I wasn't very impressed with it though. But because this one is so brand new and I can, like, it feels like it was made with care. I mean, just like, look at this packaging. It is beautiful. Like, it's a full art thing in itself. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try. Now I haven't yet opened this at all, I'm really excited, I have no idea what's inside it. But what I have done is taken off the tab, um, which has a nice little easy peel, um, kind of perforated edge. My problem is I'm really weak and I knew I was going to struggle with that. So to save myself from embarrassment, I've just taken that off early. Um, I've also, on the bottom, removed my shipping address, you don't need to see that. Um, so, the Artful uh, subscription box, it has daily drawing challenges which are available over at Artful Box and you can use the hashtag Artful Daily Challenge to get your work reshared. They seem really interested in reposting people's kind of creations and things so I'm really excited to see. Maybe I will get to join in depending on what's in the box and how inspired we are. So that's really quite exciting. Um, it's a beautiful kind of like a what do you call it? It's like a baby blue almost. Oh, it's so nice. I think my camera's making it look slightly purple, but I dig it. Um, there is just some nice little branding around the sides. Um, you know, you can get a view for yourself there. Um, it may be worthwhile having a check, um, especially if you are in the UK. But without further ado, let's open it. Yes! Ooh, what do we have here? So we've got a nice uh, orange tissue paper and the box has some little artwork on the top talking about, um, again, going to Artful and follow people on the Instagram. We've got the blog as well, oh dear. So, let's see what we've got. Um, I'm going to actually take this out, I think it's going to be the easiest way around this. Okay, like that. Oh, look, there's the bear again. Um, I'm gonna push that to the side and have a look at that. Um, so, here we have some mystery paper. Okay. I've tried so hard not to look online for what this is. Oh, I see paper. Uh -huh. Right, so let's see what is in here today. There is, oh these feel like um, cards and envelopes. That's cute, so you could do some little um, personalised greeting cards, whatever your occasions may be. That was a cute idea with their branding on the back. Cheeky, I like it. So you can see here that this is slightly coated 280 GSM board, suitable for wet and dry media. And you've got the logos again. Interesting. Same as well, you've got the bit of branding on the Odia, just there. Uh, yeah, I'll put it in this way. <laughs> Doesn't quite match the others, but that's all right. So, cards. And then, <laughs> it's a bear. <laughs> um, okay, cool. I like that it's obviously, you know, matching the bear on the lid. But, is it me or does that just not look like his derpy little brother or something? <laughs> That's adorable. Slightly creepy, but adorable. I like it. <laughs> so, let's see. Okay, so there's, it's just um, got the outline on. I wonder if it's for you to create the artwork on the cover. I'll find out. Probably reading the box will help. 
Oh, here we go. Here's a print from the artist. Oh, seriously, look. Look at this snoot. This is such a good snoot. Gosh, wow. Ooh. So here we have a Faber Castell sketch pad. Wow, that's amazing. So I keep I keep looking at this kind of stuff and going, oh, you know, maybe. And here it is, it's landed in my lap. Yay. Um, so it is ideal for graphite, coloured and watercolour pencils. It is um, an A5 size, 40 sheets, 160 uh, GSM, and um, acid free. Ooh, here we have it. Yeah, just nice plain white paper. Oh, you can see, see my glue. Ugh. <laughs> That's going to be a little bit sticky later. I'll deal with that. <laughs> Start an ASMR channel, hang on. <laughs> That's too much fun. Oh god. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just some really nice quality paper. It's A5 size, so that's nice and small. Oh, I like it. Yes, mm, yes. Looking forward to using that. Um, this is the last thing besides the booklet. And. Oh, look at that! I like a little bit of string. I can hear this is obviously where, like, there's some form of pencils rattling around in there. So let's have a look. So the first lucky dip. Ooh. Oh, it's a sharpener. Always, always handy to have a good old pencil sharpener around. This one's made in Germany. <laughs> Oh, Faber Castell. Nice. There we go. So it's got a green barrel, um, which is a, a plain uh, lead, which is good. We have the Faber Castell brand again, but this one is a B. And then here we have a to be or not to be pencil. <laughs> So here we have a Faber Castell 0.5 mechanical pencil. Oh man! The next one. Ah, oh, a Faber Castell white polychromos pencil. Ooh, and then have a blue one. Now a lot of people I see do like their under sketch actually in blue, and I've been really curious to try it out. And well, I mean, now I've got the tools to do so. So woohoo! Next we have. Uh, a HP of the Castell pencils by Faber Castell. What's this? Oh, oh, it's one of the blending stubby things. It feels really strange. Um, how to describe it? Like, yeah, it just feels nice and smooth, but has a uh, a texture. Do you know what? I can't quite describe it. Okay, and then e eraser. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm impressed. So I've had an art box before from a different company um, and I very quickly um, cancelled my subscription because the materials in it were pretty pretty pants. Um, I mean, I'd, I'd always be up for giving it another go, but it was not very inspiring. Um, however, this is like a, it's a full set. I mean, like, this alone, very happy with. Like, that's amazing. So. I'm looking forward to that, and the fact that I get to send like little greetings cards to people. Ah, so we've got that. We've got a bear. Very nice too. The next thing that I want to look at is the next thing. So if I can scoop, 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 slide. Yeah. So this is going to be difficult to get out, isn't it? Okay. So. Quite thick, actually. It's a proper little booklet. Let's have a look. So it's got the blurb about what Artful is, and then the contents. So the contents, as you see me unboxing this one, the mechanical pencil, the fine, the different thickness of leads, the blender pencils, the polychromos pencils, natural erasers, greeting cards. Yeah. And a DIY jack print. 
to recreate Jack the Bear from a rough outline with your new tools, page 44. So that thing here. So this is Jack the Bear. Love it. <laughs> so, yeah. so I always think like this has like basics of drawing and like how you can try and do different pencils and textures and dimension. Oh, that's so cool. I'm gonna have to spend some time and read through all of this. I won't go through it all now. Look at it! So cute! I like the colours in this booklet. It's very easy on the eyes. I kind of like everything though. So if you're interested in trying something new and learning something, like definitely pick it up. Look at that, like how to do hair braids, wow! I mean, this is amazing. It's got so many different things in. I, d I wasn't sure what I was expecting, but I'm pleasantly surprised. And this is how they make Jack the Bear. That's so cool. I always love seeing how other people work. It's one of the reasons why I do like process videos and things like that. I figured if I like seeing how other people work, maybe people are the same. <laughs> Look at that. That's a traditional artwork ink squid. That's pretty darn cool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be going through this in more detail. Okay, so looking at this, um, the thing that I want to try, I think, the most to do is to recreate the print with my very own take on Jack the Bear. That's it's just, oh, it's so ridiculous. I love it. Um, so in the booklet, it says turn to page 40 to see kind of how he starts the process. And so this artist, uh, his first name is Jamie. He basically, you know, he's just drawing lines and building them up to make different shapes in the fur. Um, which I get, that seems quite, that seems straightforward enough. I think I can do that. So what I thought I would do is have a look and kind of just study the um, main uh, print that we've got as well and kind of see just how like big or how small the chunks of fur should be um, and then look at kind of seeing where, for instance, they may need to go longer at the bottom and then get a bit more grisly. Uh, this is gonna be interesting, let's see how we go. We can kind of do this almost side by side. Now Jamie says he did this with the mechanical pencil, so I guess we are too. Let's just see what happens, yeah? I think I might actually start off though by doing the uh, the texture around the hat first, because those are just some nice little lines. <laughs> just going, um, here we, ooh. Well. That is a really, hmm, I like it. I think it's just plastic, but it's got the, the sides of it. I easy to grip and roll. Um, you feel like you've got a bit of control on that, which is nice. Um, hmm, interesting. Let's carry on then and see. I do love a brand new pencil. And this is really quite satisfying. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, I like it. And this is a really silly thing, and I don't know if it bugs anyone else, but um, I just kind of wish <laughs> the sticker wasn't there. Always end up peeling the stickers off, and I'm looking at this now as I'm working with it, being like, "Oh yes, sticker, you're not going to last in this household, no, sorry." And you end up with that weird kind of like sticky residue. Um, that I'm not looking forward to um, having to then kind of rub and deal with, but still, the sticker must go. So I think so far, you know, we get the idea. It is clearly some form of beanie. Now obviously he added his colours uh, digitally, um, which I'm not going to do for this today. I'm just going to do my traditional side of things. Oh my gosh, okay, so where do we, where do we start? So he's got little, little marks going along there. It's a little bit longer, go around there. You've got the ear kind of swoops up. So okay, so let's just let's just try it, shall we? I'm trying to replicate some of the technique that he used, <laughs> but it's quite entertaining because I can already see that it's gonna go in a completely different direction to where he went. But that's okay, this is my art based off of Jamie's art. <laughs> so it kind of goes up there, down here, and I can see, yeah, there's that nice line there, and he's got some good little wisps 
coming off there. I wonder if I can try and do something like that. I think so. Yeah. And he just kind of comes out like that a little bit. Gosh, I wonder how long this takes him to do normally. Something like this. Something like that. Yeah. It's quite fun because, like, yes, there's obviously ways that the artist does it, but it doesn't have to be the same. You can make like little changes and do little things. You are not a photocopier. Add your own flair to it. Mm. Yes. Sometimes, you know. And this is all quite dark. So for now I'm just going to go like that. And this bit's a little dark as well. I'm going over to like the eyebrow. <laughs> do bears have eyebrows? What is this muscle called? Feels like a little line around the eye. But it's like, don't touch me. No, no. Do, 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 do. Yeah, okay, so doing it like that. He has like, look at this little tash that he's got over here. Oh, I'm looking forward to doing that, but I don't want to do it just yet because I know me, I know that I'm going to smudge the ever loving heck out of that. So I'm going to go like this and I'm going to do lots of little tiny, tiny lines at this end. So I can smudge this instead. <laughs> Oh, I do have a blending stump, don't I? Maybe I could intentionally smudge some things. That's probably why they included it. Ah, learning. Oh, boo. So it comes out, kind of goes like a little bit out. And then you start to get, I can see the lines definitely more pronounced at these points. Like the shapes that he uses. Yeah. Oh. Progress, yay. I'm gonna bring add some texture to the hat. I might try the blending stump for that as well. Look at me, never used a blending stump before, still haven't used one, and yet I'm like, I will achieve this effect with the stump. <laughs> a little bit wispy over here. Oh, look at the little tash. Oh. <laughs> Should he have a tash? Nobody knows. Ridge is shiny. Something like that. I like the texture that he chose for this nose. I know I've said a lot about the nose already, but I, I do like the, the texture on the nose. It's a good nose. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It's a little bit derpy and I love it. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going back and trying to, you know, because I'm going, yeah, I'm definitely going to smudge that. I'm going to smudge the heck out of it. So I'm going to move on and quickly go back over here. Progress. Actually does take a while, doesn't it? Little tiny lines. Tiny lines. So if I darken some areas to help emphasize where those lines are overlapping, it might just help give us that little bit of shape. So the graduation. Or it might not. I might not have done a great job. <laughs> I think though the most important thing is that it's all just fun and you're enjoying the process. It doesn't matter if things come out looking great or even like, you know, taking part in any of their challenges. I'm going to definitely be going away and using all these materials in my own projects. And so for that alone, definitely worth it. Okay, so that kind of comes down over here. Out. And so I've kind of, kind of Got that here, so it comes in. You should be able to kind of roughly see it dragging out over here. It's actually got like a little goatee now, is what I'm giving him. I don't know about you guys, but some people can just work on a single area of a picture until it looks great. And um, like, that's it, they're, they're done, they move on. I am not one of those people. I will continue to go off, get distracted, come back, and then <laughs> resume what I was doing or what I think I was doing. I think part of it is the advantage of coming back with like fresh eyes and looking things over but also at the same time I know that I just get distracted and go oh I can do this now, oh I can do this now constantly 
it's quite fun, but it's also a little bit chaotic. So sometimes I only realise afterwards, I'm like, oh, I should have done that then, rather than different points. But I think I can get away with this at the moment, where it's all just pencil, isn't it? And at the end of the day, I can just erase it this way and end up with that base again. Because of course the stencil outline was already provided. I didn't have to kind of map out where all the main features were. That hard bit was done for me. Winning! So obviously the Jack the Bear in this image has got that beautiful like orangey red cap, which matches the, the little paper thingy here, which matches well the tissue paper they used to wrap it in, and the inside of the box. Um, so I wonder if that changes thematically each month, or if the artist made the uh, choice though, of the colours to match the box, if he already knew what it was. Mm, I might have to get the next one to find out. I can see that when it gets like this bit of the image, it's all quite actually long hair. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, so I'm just going to be able to start making some nice long fur bits as well, which will fill up this nicely. Oh, this takes a while. You're very dark again. I'd seen the promotional pictures of the bear everywhere. Um, I did not clock though that this would be one of the challenges to try and recreate it, and I think that's really quite cool. I mean, it's quite amazing how the original uh, outline sketch you're given really did look quite derpy and adorable. And now, whilst not as good as the original, don't get me wrong, I quite like it. Look at him, like, he does look more bear-like now. Less potato, more bear. So I definitely think I've got used to how this pen feels in my hand. It's really interesting having all those, like, little uh, smaller angles in comparison to the other pencil that I showed earlier. It's very easy to grip. I mean, like, I don't have the biggest hands in the world anyway, and so you can kind of see, like, this fits really nicely in my hand. I suppose if you've got you know, significantly bigger hands than me, maybe you would have a difficulty with it, but I am not going to have that problem. Oh, I think I've made that bit a bit too long, so what I'm going to do is cheat and just do like some smaller ones over the top, so it looks like it's at least shorter. <laughs> there we go, that would do. Well, I mean, I think you can tell they're like brothers. quite happy that I haven't accidentally smudged as much of this as I feared I would. There's always time, but still. This is really quite relaxing. Um, I didn't expect just to enjoy making lines quite so much. I mean, I suppose that's all art really is, but you know what I mean? Like the sound, just even though these are simple little strokes, I'm really enjoying myself. Didn't realise how much time I'd spent on this already. <laughs> I think one of the great things about this box is having these materials all chosen out for you. Like you can create complete artworks without having to bring anything else to the table. That's really useful. And having like little prompts like this, I can see myself working on this after like a day at work or something. It's kind of it's done the thinking for you in that regards, at least with these challenges. You can just sit down whenever you want and pick up the pencils and go. That's quite nice. I like that. Having those little micro decisions made for you can be quite nice just to be able to go, fine, this is what I'm doing. I'll crack on with that and see where you get to. There we go. Okay, so that is the mechanical pencil I use. I'm gonna go with a 2B and a 4B. And I'm actually gonna take the darkest one first because YOLO and I just want to see how it feels in this ear and I feel pretty safe about doing this ear because I shouldn't smudge it because it kind of is out of the way. Let's see how we go. So here goes nothing. Ooh. That is so soft. Ah, oh, 
That's a beautiful pencil. That's like butter. <laughs> it's like I'm applying a lead based stick of butter. It's just melting. Ah. Oh. It's funny because in my regular kind of art, I probably would never ever have drawn something like this. This kind of interesting stylized picture of a bear with a hat. It's nice being able to kind of break out of molds that we end up putting ourselves into. Cool. <laughs> Why does it make me smile so much? I love it. Darken the snoot. <laughs> I have no idea if it's going to make for good content or not, or like if anyone's going to enjoy watching this, but 10 out of 10 recommend making lines over and over again. Boop, boop. One, two, three, four. Oh, yep. yeah. Whilst working on this, I thought it might be a good time to kind of recap some of the price points in case you're curious about buying a box for yourself or maybe somebody else as a gift you might be that kind um, these boxes come out quarterly and that means that every three months you will get a new box the boxes are priced at 35 pounds each and that's what they start at and it is including shipping um, at the moment they have a promotion so instead of paying uh, 35 pounds for this box I paid 25 um, and hopefully when this video goes out that promotion will still be live you can get it directly from their website um, so with that kind of in mind of a 25 pounds price point I wanted to have a look and actually review on the website for Faber Castell just how much value for money the box was this is what I found so we have obviously the four sketching pencils these are £1.35 each. The mechanical pencil is then £5.50. I then have the eraser at 90 pence. The pencil sharpener, which I've now covered in uh, sharpenings, is £1. Um, the stump retails at £2.30. These two coloured pencils go for £1.95 each on the website. And then finally, the Faber-Castell sketchbook itself goes for £5.50. So in just the Faber-Castell merch itself, the actual value of the box is £24.50 from the website itself. Now, we obviously paid £25, which included the shipping. And it doesn't include, you know, the little blank greeting cards that you can make. Nor does it include this beautiful book. And this book is um, actually, it's like 112 pages pretty much in full colour, lots of different techniques, lots of different um, inspiration points, artists, it shows pictures of like desk layouts, um, tutorials, things like this, so it's actually pretty good. I'd probably expect that to sell by itself for at least £8 pretty much. Um, so if we add that to our total, um, you know, we're almost, we're, we're pretty much at £32.50 with just this, this, this. Let's say, you know, let's be generous and say that these cards, um, say they're £3 with the envelopes because they are, you know, they are actually the 280 board, suitable for wet and dry media. So add that on and we're at £35.50, but that includes the shipping. So win! I think it is good value. Um, I think I will definitely do this again, especially though if they have another great offer, like the £10 off. Um, that was for the first box, but I am sure that as time goes on they will potentially do different offers. It's just really nice, it's a great thought out box, and the kind of the decisions taken away to make life just easier is something that I value. Um, I can just get straight to making things when this arrives which is great and the mediums aren't ones that are going to very quickly like run out or dry out or anything like this so I can continue using this pretty much probably throughout the entire um, couple of uh, months while I wait for the next box to come out so I think I will keep this subscription going we have here the base I'm not gonna try the stump I'm really excited I have no idea how to use this I've never used one before 
how do you sharpen this? Do you sharpen this? I don't know. Should I find out first? Probably. Am I going to? No. Am I going to go straight in? Hell yeah. Join me. Here we go. Oh, that feels weird. Oh, that, that, uh, that kind of then shivers down my spine. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, but that does have, there's a funny texture to play with. Oh, I like that. Okay. Oh, but that does feel so weird. Like, I got proper goosebumps. I don't know if you can see that at all. I promise you, though, I do. Oh, okay. I'm a big girl. I can get through this. This is, as well, I'd like to stress, I don't think my reaction to this texture is the fault of the blending stump at all. Don't don't be put off trying it just because I'm a baby. Okay? <laughs> That's a disservice to the blending stump. What can I do to darken that nose? Is it just gonna go over again? I have no idea as well if this is actually what a bare nose looks like. Or if the original artist has taken liberties and now I'm just like, yeah, that's totally it. That's it. Let's, let's make it nice and dark, shall we? I'm gonna do is actually just go around the outline with the blue rather than color it all in just give him a little accent oh, now these polychromo pencils they are so beautiful like that's such a vivid blue I'm almost done it's a burr jack the bear reproduced by me <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, I really enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun working on that. Um, so I was able to use my uh, mechanical pencil. That was really nice. Um, nice and lightweight. Good angular barrel, so easy to grip. Not gonna roll anywhere. Great for my tiny, tiny hands. Um, so I think that's a win. Um, I also used the 2B and the 4B um, sketching pencils that they sent. I think they were delightful. Look at that, I mean, it, you can, it's good texture, man. I really enjoyed that. Um, I did try the white, but it didn't give me the pop I wanted to. However, I think if I was to try that on a different, um, like a different material first, maybe like some ink or something, that might bring it up, or even other coloured pencils. So I don't rule this one out. Uh, I just don't think this was the picture for me to use it in, really. The stump, the stump of shivers. Yeah, I liked it. I don't know, having never used one before, I cannot attest to the quality of it being particularly Faber-Castell. Um, however, I do know that everything else is a really good quality, so I'm going to presume that this is a good one to have as well. Um, pretty much with like the eraser, so this is latex for your eraser. Um, I obviously did it to kind of get some like, little shines on the nose. Um, I was about to do it again, did you see that? I was like, going, nope, that was that was my too much gene. There it was, right there. I'm gonna put this down, but yeah, that, I mean, it's an eraser is an eraser. Um, it did a good job, same with the sharpener. The sharpener, lovely and sharp, lovely and new, great for the pencils. So that and the blue, obviously, just for that bit out, uh, lining the bear. So what this leaves me to work with next time, um, and I'm going to use, obviously, the Faber-Castell sketch pad and then I guess I get to make some little cards all in all I am really quite pleased with this it's a great book you're able to create great little pieces of art with it you know kind of following the prompt and um, yeah I think it is great value for money so thumbs up and that is where we leave off for today so thank you very much for joining. I hope that you enjoyed me creating uh, Jack the Bear. Um, I think he's adorable. I'm going to find somebody to put him on my bookshelf. Take care, everyone. And until next time, let's keep exploring art together.